NYPD officer shot last night, this time in Manhattanville, as the crisis of gun violence continues to plague New York City. And this morning, the search continues for the gunman. This is now the seventh member of the NYPD shot so far this year. It's February 6th, which means on average, a member of the force has taken a bullet once every five days in 2022. Eyewitness News reporter Shantae Lance live in Harlem with the details this morning. Shantae. Mike, good morning. That police officer who was shot was off duty. He was shot in his foot and taken to Mount Sinai Hospital. That shooting happened just behind me, outside of these the Manhattanville houses. Detectives continue to comb the scene for evidence. It happened yesterday in broad daylight around 4.30 p.m. Investigators believe that officer was not the intended target. The 47-year-old Bronx housing cop was attending a vigil in the community center for a longtime resident when police say two men dressed in all black opened fire towards the building. This is the seventh NYPD officer shot so far this year, like Mike mentioned, and it is just the beginning of February. The city is still processing the two police officers that were shot and killed in Harlem last month. The officer shot yesterday was treated and released overnight from Mount Sinai Morningside. The ambulance came and he realized that he was shot in the foot. A foot injury, any gunshot wound is potentially life or limb threatening. This bullet traversed uh, critical vessels and nerves and tendons, but we expect him to make a full recovery. Now there is clear video of that shooting that happened here behind me. Police are hoping that it can lead to an arrest. For